good. We will look at the uh, rainfall and runoff process of a catchment. This is shown on page uh, 27 of your notes. The rainfall uh, runoff process of a catchment. This is a representation that is adopted by Tech HMS. So it, it is the Tech HMS representation of the rainfall and runoff process. So this uh, representation uh, <coughs> is a simplified version of the rainfall and runoff process. And uh, this is adopted in uh, HMS. Because the actual rainfall runoff process is more complicated than that. Mm. The actual rainfall runoff process is much more uh, complicated. But uh, HMS has simplified the whole concept. And the uh, concept is represented in this diagram. Huh? The rainfall runoff process. So in the in, in this model, the precipitation will fall and enter the land surface. The precipitation will fall onto the land surface. And part of it will infiltrate into the soil. The other part will become overland flow and it will flow into the stream. Okay? Okay, part of the infiltration enter into the soil, it will also become the interflow and enter into a stream. And the stream <coughs> The stream, part of it will, the stream, part of the stream flow will come from the groundwater aquifer. Then this is in the form of a base flow. It will become base flow. Groundwater come in as a base flow into the stream. And plus the inter flow from the soil and also overland flow from the land. So all these three sources contribute to our stream flow. And all this will come up. Uh, all the stream, the flow will go out of the watershed as a discharge, uh, as a stream flow. Also notice that uh, some of the precipitation will, will fall into a water body, example a lake, and will flow into a stream directly. Yeah? Without infiltration, it will flow onto a water body, like a lake, and then uh, from there it will flow out into a stream. Okay. So this is a very simplified version of the rainfall runoff process. And this is adopted in HMS. The actual rainfall runoff process is much more complicated than that. Yeah? For example, there is interaction between groundwater, aquifer, and also infiltration. There is interaction. A not very complicated interaction. In fact, the scientists uh, always laugh at the engineers for coming up with this uh, diagram. This is done by engineers. Huh? The scientists will say, how can you simplify base flow like this? Yeah. Yeah. They will say the base flow is much more complicated. There is interaction between groundwater aquifer and also the infiltration into the soil. But the scientists, you know, the engineer will say, you know, that is too complicated. Let us simplify it using a simple empirical relationship. 
to the scientists, they will laugh. They say empirical, empirical relationship is bullshit. You know? They will say empirical relationship is not uh, it's not very scientific. They do not like it. But the engineers they they make this assumption. So if you compare the result, uh, the estimate made by the engineers are better. Uh, using this style of simplified model, the engineer can predict the flood very well, very accurately. Because engineers, by profession, you are asked to solve problems. Right? You, you have to find out what is the flood level downstream. You have to be very accurate. You, can, you must do it quickly. You cannot wait for months before you get the result. You must do an estimate quickly now and get the result now. Huh? It must be accurate. Cannot be. Uh, if if there's a, any mistake, it's going to be very serious. Huh? There could be loss of lives and uh, damage to properties. Huh? So engineers have to uh, give a very good and a very accurate estimate quickly. So using this uh, model we will achieve the objective. Uh, this is a model that is done by engineers. Uh, a simplified model adopted by engineers for our rainfall runoff modeling. If you show to the scientists, they will laugh at you. you know, they will say, how can you simplify into this? You know, you know, to them, it doesn't make sense. It's just like the geologist and the geological engineer. Same thing. The geologists always make fun of the geological engineer. Why? Because the geologists always look at things millions of years ahead, or millions of years in the past. But the ge geotechnical engineer look at things now next 10 years, huh? 10 years ago, what will happen huh? now? We are not interested in what happened millions of years ago. We are interested in what happened now, what will happen in 10 years time, 20 years time, you know? Will the structure be safe? You know, if the structure fail, they don't look for the geologist. They look for the geotechnical engineer, right? It's the same thing. We are a profession, so we are accountable for what we do. Huh? So, even using empirical method, as long as the result is good, we will do it. Huh? We are not so concerned about the scientific basis of it. You know? uh, later, you will see more and more of this one. We are going to the model. You see, uh, we the engineer will represent a complicated process using one formula. You know? To the scientists, uh, that is unthinkable. You know? That's illegal. You, know? you show to the geologist, the scientist, they say, ha, how can you do that? Like, when you want to predict flood, you don't go to the scientist. You go to the